Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Francesca again, back with another response video. This time I will be responding to Samson's price hike. I have not seen it yet, so it will be a first time reaction. So let's jump right in and find out what it's all about. I made a little money off a of rap, but not enough to make me rich, yet I'm still backpacking. I made a little money off a of rap, but not enough to make me rich, I'm in the same tax bracket. I made a little money off a of rap, but not enough to make me rich, I mean it too. I just say that to say that I'm still down here in the real world, feeling everything with you, and I'm fucking pissed. I got a big bone to pick with all these motherfucking activists. All these rappers and actors and notable figures that act like they know how bad this shit is. I love being lectured and ridiculed about the fact that I don't have an election vehicle tweeting about climate change from your private plane while i pay a norman leg to get some fuel thank god my car doesn't take premium i'd have to get a second job just to break even then they cranked it up three dollars and brought it down two and i'm supposed to be happy and act like i'm proud of you and to add the injury i got kamala telling me i need to go electric and i have to act quick and all it's gonna cost me is fifty thousand dollars well guess what i don't have that bitch and even if i did i would buy a big truck just to rub it in your face because i don't give a fuck i would put a big smokestack on the top of it and blow black smoke every time i open throttle it and it's not because i hate the climate it's because i don't trust you or the things you wish me to do i would cut the floor out of the bottom of my car and start running like the flintstones before i listen to you i hate when people tell me they would rather not talk about it because they don't like to get political I yeah let's stop it there i agree with that full-heartedly um wholeheartedly <laughs> We have to talk about it. This whole idea that you shouldn't talk about politics because X, Y, Z. At this point, we have to. It's a crisis not to. Like, we need to talk about this stuff because people don't... They're just not connected to reality, a lot of them. And for those of us that are in the same tax bracket, <laughs> well, we get it. We understand that it's not easy and it's not going to be getting... It's not going to become any easier if we don't try to do something about it. We have to be diplomatic and we have to do something about it. If we don't talk about it, we don't know about it. If we don't know about it, what are we going to do about it? We're going to complain about it when it happens and just take it. And that's not working. Cannot afford supply shortages and high mortgages. It's not politics. All this shit is literal. That's money draining out of your bank account to make it work. To the point that it breaks you down and makes you hurt. Paying insane amounts, taking out of your savings. They promised that they were gonna save you. How? They made it worse. We should be a flourishing nation, not a country with soaring inflation. There's nothing more infuriating than the fact that nobody takes blame for this poor demonstration. Like what? It just happened like that. Nothing to do with your administration. You blamed it on Putin and called it his price hike, but shit was going up way before the invasion now how does that work really i'm baffled sick of being treated like a stupid blind asshole next thing i know i'm gonna turn on cnn and they'll be trying to tell everybody that putin time traveled wouldn't put it past them crooked little rats so weaselly and spineless always looking for a snack searching for the next reputation to tear apart and trash when the views that you have and theirs aren't exact they feed you bullshit and expect you to eat it then they read you bullshit and expect you to believe it like everything that you witness isn't for certain or real and you're just supposed to forget all your personal experiences like all the money that you and see, like, that's a thing too, right? So the more they repeat things to you, the more people will believe them, whether or not they're true or not. So the great thing about having power over the media is that you can basically influence public opinion because all you have to do is repeat things a few times and people will be like, yeah, that's the truth. And anything that comes into opposition with that they automatically feel the cognitive dissonance. And cognitive dissonance is when basically you have one pre-established view and another view comes in that contradicts that view. And because you've had such this concrete belief in it, it, it just messes with you. You just can't handle it. You're like, no, that can't be true. And you automatically dismiss it without even consideration because it can't be true. You're right. This is the truth. You already know the truth. And the truth is this. And whatever's opposing this can't be the truth because you know the truth. You spent, you still have the shit, you didn't really spend any of it You just imagined it, all the cash that you wasted on behalf of this inflation didn't happen It's just a figment of your imagination and it's all gone Okay, so that was Samson's price hike Um, I don't not understand it I get it completely, I just don't really have a lot to add to it, it's all true Um, and we really, the part about, I'm just going to 
kind of get stuck a little bit on the part about, you know, us talking about this stuff because we have to. We have to. That's step one. That's why we have freedom of speech to begin with is so that we can talk about this. And if we decide not to because it's taboo, then we're technically infringing our own right of free speech because it's there so that, you know, things can be prevented or made better or whatever. The point is, yeah. I agree with this video. Great video. Um, Samson always does amazing work. <laughs> the last video, we won't talk about that. But anyways, uh, with that said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and maybe subscribe. And if you do, I will see you in the next video. Have a great day and peace out.